Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Kaleo Kaluhio Kalani. I work at the Trace Evidence Unit. What we're going to do right now, if you follow me, we'll go over into our laboratory and I'll have you sample um, Haley's hands okay. for a gunshot residue. Uh, once we get that sample, then we'll go over to our instrumentation room and we'll uh, have you operate the instrument and you'll find the gunshot residue samples. Very nice. Okay, and so we're going to take this sample here and we're going to go over to the scanning electron microscope. Okay, Chief, um, so what we're going to have you do then is uh, open up the uh, canister there, that stub, and open them up and you're going to reach and try to get uh, on the bottom of that black stub and you clamp it. All right, and then you're going to pull away. Just pull it straight out. Yeah, there you go. Uh, now open the chamber and then you're going to put it in one of those slots there. There you go. Like, just like that, perfect. Now you're gonna close it. All we do is just close it right there and click on uh, pump. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, start pumping down the chamber. It's gonna take out all the air in the chamber. We need to have this a real strong vacuum in here. So the thing about our gunshot residue particles, that particle um, is made of metal. It has uh, lead, barium, and antimony in it. So we're looking for certain elements right. So it should look like a, um, a lava rock or... Um, so there's a granularity to it. Yes. Yeah. We're looking for the metal particles in the primer components. And that's what gets on the person's hands, the shooter's hands. What we're looking at is the surface of oops, our sample. It's like stars in the sky. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Actually, the brighter the particle, the more metallic it is. Right. So it's telling us right now that we're seeing um, some particles that are metallic that could be gunshot residue. So another thing that'll tip us off that something is gunshot residue is the shape of the particle. So the more spherical it is, um, it's more likely to be gunshot residue. So if you see, if you see on the screen, kind of in the middle, there's a particle here that looks very spherical. Okay, there's one that we could consider a gunshot residue particle. So all you wanna do is place the cursor right onto that particle, right there, and just click on it. And now it's gonna pull up a spectra of what, what's in it. And these are all uh, energies that are coming off of this, this particle. And every element has its own specific energies. And so lead, barium, and antimony, um, if this particle contains lead, barium, and antimony, it'll come up in the spectra. Um, barium here and antimony there. So what we're looking at here fits our criteria for a gunshot residue particle. It's got that spherical shape. It's got the elements lead, barium, and antimony. Okay, and then we'll just put this in our report. And that's how we find our gunshot residue particles.